I mean, it's really about the patients for me. I mean, if I'm, I'm going to get emotional, it's going to be, we're doing this for the people that suffer from this disease. And I can't think of any better satisfaction in my career is to come up with something that can actually translate back to people that I take care of and improve their quality of life. That's from the heart. Epilepsy is one of the least understood diseases in the most complicated organ, the brain. It affects over 70 million people worldwide. One of the hardest things to tell a patient when they come with, to me with epilepsy is that we don't have a cure and you will be on this medicine often for the rest of your life. At present time, when patients do not respond to medications, the only treatment we have is to open the skull and remove parts of the brain that cause the seizures. The goal of this research program is to come up with a cure so we no longer have to do this. We are taking advantage of an invaluable resource from our patients, which is parts of their human brain that they donate to us at that time of epilepsy surgery. We're using these pieces of tissue to really get at the core of what's different in those areas of the brain that produce the seizures, and to take that information and translate it into new drugs so that we can get them back to patients. Next time I have a patient who comes to me with epilepsy, I would like to say, well, here, take this, as opposed to now, where we don't have that option. We now have the ability to look at many millions and millions of variables simultaneously and try to simplify the problem into something that can generate a solution. To my knowledge, this is my type of research is not being done anywhere else in the world that combines so many different aspects to understand uh, diseases of the human brain. And because of our close relationship with the Detroit Medical Center and our interaction between the clinics and the basic science here, we have a unique opportunity to do this and to bring these things together to come up with a cure. Many things happen in our laboratory. Uh, we start with human brain tissue. Uh, we look at the genes, the proteins, the small molecules. Uh, we do experiments uh, on cultures of tissues, and we use this information to come up with ideas, new research directions, and hopefully cures. One of the most valuable assets we have here is our students. We have the most wonderful PhD students, postdoctoral fellows, undergraduate students that come through the laboratory, and their learning process contributes greatly to our research programs. We're on a path to curing a life-altering disease, and I'm proud that it's happening here at Wayne State University.